Do you know what's going to happen if we don't deny it and be in support for BJP? Let me tell you a short story of what happened to Christians in Lebanon. Lebanon is a small country in the Middle East with just around 68 lakh people. Up until 1956, Lebanon was a Christian majority country. Even after the Ottoman Empire conquered Lebanon in the 16th century and ruled for 400 years, Muslims did not become a majority there. Lebanon and Israel were the only two non-Muslim countries in the Middle East and they were the only two democracies. This particular area is a continuous war zone for the past 70 years. Palestine versus Israel, continuous war since 1948. Even today they are fighting. But what people don't notice is that when a war happens, it leaves a lot of refugees. In 1948 Palestine war, more than 7 lakh people became refugees. All these people fled to Lebanon because the neighboring countries refused to allow them. You getting what I'm saying? The Islamic countries, Jordan and Iran, refused to give shelter to Muslims. Why? They have a plan to conquer Lebanon. Lebanon was compassionate to allow the refugees. These Muslims settled there and they did the needful. Look at the results over a period of 15 years time. They have done population explosion, occupying the positions of power in the democratic country, funding from terrorist organizations like PLO, projecting themselves as poor people, minority, victim card, and projecting the local Christians there as exploitative class, aggressive class, and finally dividing the democracy into left wing and right wing. Right wing obviously are the local people, rich people, and hence exploitative and democratic. Left wing obviously are the people who are poor people, helpless, the minority. Don't you think the similar thing is happening in India? right wing and left wing politics here it is hindus there it is christians do you understand why i clearly declared i don't belong to either right wing or left wing these are labels invented by someone don't tag me with this even the hindu muslim christian are labels to create division and havoc nothing else what is important to be followed is dharma not the religion so the Christians in Lebanon couldn't recognize this happening silently just because they gave shelter to Muslim refugees. In 1975, Muslim population became 44% in Lebanon. They have started a civil war which went up to 1990 where the Muslim population became 54% and Christians were pushed into minority. How did they achieve this? Mass genocide of Christians just like they have been doing this on Hindus here since 70 years. Democracy was totally shattered in 1991 in Lebanon. Terrorist organizations like PLO, Hezbollah, Hamas have taken the power of the state. In a matter of 15 years, a flourishing democratic state of Lebanon was turned into a terrorist land. If the local Christians of the Lebanon were alert to the happenings, they could have protected themselves, but they didn't take it seriously. If we people in India do not wake up and realize the danger of what's happening in the country, the exact same thing is going to happen to us. Can anyone guarantee that we are not going to become like one more Lebanon? Do you think your children's future is safe in this country? Do you want to leave the Gomatas into the hands of halal cuts? Are you not aware of the recent deaths of RSS and Bajrang Dal Karakartas? Wake up, share this message to all, there's a war coming.